Hey guys, welcome to my League of Legends Ash guide. Uh, Ash is a pretty simple character to play, but I'm going to teach you how to be really good at Ash and really good at League of Legends in general. This is the, my first of many guides, and here we go. I'm going to start out with showing you my masteries and my summoner skills. The masteries are pretty standard. You want to get all the offense you can with Ash, a bit of utility for defensive capabilities. Um, you got Flash and you got Ghost. Um, Pretty standard here, Flash is really important to Ash, it'll let you escape so many times, let you catch up to people. Right here I'm going to show you a clip of me escaping certain death from three guys. Um, Flash lets me escape, lets me go back in, finish off a few guys, and it really is an amazing spell for Ash. I think for um, any mid character who's a bit weak, uh, you should get it. Um, we'll start out with the skills now. Focus, this is her passive. Uh, essentially, it's just increasing your critical strike chance for um, every three seconds before you attack. So after you attack, it goes away. It's great for being in the middle and just hitting the enemy champion right off the bat. Um, first skill, though, is Frost Shot. It's a snare. It slows the, the target down. You toggle it. It adds it to your normal attacks. Uh, it's great um, for getting away, for catching people. Here's uh, me catching up to a, a little bot here just for this one. Yeah, you can see it, you know, she's not getting away, and that's what you want to use it for. Um, volley is, volley is Ash's bread and butter. Uh, this is where you'll get y most of your damage from. Um, slow down people with it, it's, it really is an amazing skill. Here you can see me harassing. I don't like to be too predictable with it because people are always trying to assume where you're going to put it. And you can see here, I'm, I'm just harassing these two guys. He's going to try to recall right now. And I'm just going just gonna to pose a bit of a threat with it. It's got a good range. Stop that recall. He obviously fails with the stuns. Um, here's another one. A good way to uh, prevent people from getting away. He's not getting away from this. Once I've got another teammate with me, once I've got that that volley on, he's not getting away, and of course Warwick ultimates him just for good measure. Um, next up we got Hawkshot. This is going to have uh, two things here, passive, extra gold for whenever you kill. When you activate it, it's a scout. Um, you just click on the map and you are going to reveal everything on the way to that, that destination. Uh, it's amazing, it's an amazing skill. Um, I wish every character had a way to scout like this. Here you can see I'm going to use it because I, I suspect that somebody's coming and this is going to probably wouldn't be too dangerous even if this guy came here but just to be sure uh, it's going to help you out so many times watch I can see him coming now he backs up because he saw it um, and your ultimate the enchanted crystal arrow this is the big one for Ash uh, it's a large arrow obviously uh, the further away you strike it from the longer it's going to stun for, up to 3.5 seconds. Fire it anywhere on the map, it, it's got a low cooldown, I think a little over a minute, so you want to use this very often. It can initiate fights, it can save you, it can get you that last kill, I mean, there's so many uses for it. Here I'm going to show you um, a bit of an invisible crystal arrow. I didn't know where Nocturne was going, or where he was. I had an idea. This is pretty. This is a pretty standard one. Nothing special about it. Um, I wish I could have shown you a, a cross map one, but I unfortunately couldn't get a recording of that. Um, but yeah, there you go. There's a bit of snaring too. And yeah, I, that's the guide uh, in essence. Um, I'm going to show you my item build at the end. This is basically me late game. Um, the team fight, and we'll see what happens. Uh, Ash is it really is a, a great carry at the end. You can make him make her into a support. Um, whatever you decide to do. But here we just destroy them. And here's my item build order. It's pretty pretty offensive. Um, you wanna start with Doran's, you wanna get boots of swiftness, you wanna be really quick. Zeal is I like to take Zeal early on a lot of carries just because I love the extra movement speed, attack speed, BF sword. Um, as you go down the list, you're just going to see a lot of damage, and I throw in the Banshee's Veil at the end, just because um, Ash can be easily targeted at the end, and there you go. 
that's my ash guide. Hope you guys like it. I'm gonna hopefully do a few more of these. Alright.